guys, stop the clip. Sorry, I don't usually bother doing an actual disclaimer. However, today's a little bit different. We're gonna be taking a look at a product to make limbing near power lines more efficient and a whole lot safer. Problem is, you're gonna hear the word safer tossed around a lot in the videos, but working near power lines, if you're not trained to do so, is extremely dangerous. This product is only to be used near power lines at the recommended minimum approach distances by those that are competent and trained to do so. All right, let's get into it. All right, what's up guys? For those of you that are new to the channel, my name's Aaron. I've been in Lyman on the East Coast of Canada for about 19 years now. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Husqvarna Mad Saw. It's the industry's first and only dielectric gas powered pole saw that is individually tested to be OSHA 1910.269. I suppose some of you guys are wondering how this whole thing came about. Hey Aaron, we really enjoy your YouTube videos. How would you like to try the first ever gasoline powered dielectric tested pole saw? Signed, Husqvarna. Yep. So fast forward six weeks later and this giant box shows up at the door with everything I need to put the mad saw together, including the oil, the chain, the bar, absolutely everything. It was a little bit overwhelming at first when I opened the box, looking at all the different parts, but it all went together super easy. So everything has a storage bag to put away. Um, you wanna take good care of that fiberglass shaft. Just to give you an idea how easy this was to put back together. Let me drop this guy in here. Okay, look at that, and now the motor end. <laughs> Simple as that, beauty. They do recommend that you put this on the ground to start it, but if you're up in the bucket, obviously you don't have the ground to start it up on. So you're gonna wanna hold it close to the balance point and See if she starts right up. Perfect. I was actually really impressed. We took it out in the driveway, me and my buddy, after putting it together. We did the prime thing, I think we had to push it like 10 times and pull up the choke. We hauled that, and on the first crank, it started right up. So now we got this thing put together, and we're ready to take it out in the field and give it a try. the simple fact that I'm nine feet away from every single cut, the tension on the branches, the lines, and even the spinning blade makes my job much, much safer. All right, so a couple quick first impressions now that we've got this thing put together and had a chance to use it a couple times. Uh, first thing, it's super lightweight. It, uh, its balance point is back here somewhere. It's right where you naturally hold the saw. So even working up over my head, it didn't tire my shoulders out as quickly as some traditional gasoline powered pole saws. This anti vibration handle works really great. You can see how much play there is in there. It's actually sitting on a rubber inside. You don't feel any vibration whatsoever when you're using that. When you have branches on a line, there's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of tension on the wires, a lot of tension on the fibers of the trees themselves. Using the Husqvarna Mad Saw to clear these trees while the line is energized is without a doubt much, much safer as it provides not only that extra physical protection from keeping you out of the line of fire, but also the electrical protection where the, the, the that pole that you're waving around near those high voltage lines is dielectrically tested. One million amp. Really? Yeah. At 30 kV? Yeah. Wow. All right guys, now that we've had the opportunity to take a look at this new product, 
We're gonna try it out for a few more weeks, even though we did have some great opportunities to try it out. Uh, lots of different circumstances, working from the ground, working from the bucket. I'm sure I don't have to mention that we can be hard on our tools. And we're usually not in ideal circumstances out in the heat and the cold and the wind. So we're gonna cut this video short now that we had the opportunity to show you guys that this thing's available. I'm gonna to continue to try it out for a few more weeks. I really wanna put this thing through the ringer. And once I get some more footage, we're gonna release a review video. Let you guys know what I found, how it works, and whether or not I recommend the product. So if you're not subscribed already, consider doing so. Hopefully we'll roll out the review video on the Mad Saw soon. We've got two or three more episodes of Being a Lyman um, that are in the works. Lots of great stuff coming up. Don't forget to drop me a fist bump. Let me know where you're watching from. Be safe out there, everyone, and we'll see you next time.